What's going on, everybody? Fair use. Shout out to Pat D. Pat is out here defending Elon Musk. Let's get it. Elon Musk bets on himself. He's due his $56 billion. Give that man his money. One of the biggest investors for saying it's voting against his pay package. So now you guys got to keep this in mind. He negotiated this in February of 2018 is when he negotiated this, and they're still not willing to pay him the $55, $56 billion. That's ultimate. Let me read it to you. The California Public Employee Retirement System, CalPERS, CEO Marcy Frost stated that the funds plan to vote against uh, Musk's $55 billion pay cap package, arguing we do not believe that the compensation is to commensurate with the performance of the company. Musk responded, criticizing CalPERS on social media, saying CalPERS is breaking their word. Musk's pay package struck down by a Delaware judge in January involving a 10-year grant of uh, 12 tranches of stock options uh, tied to Tesla hitting specific targets. Although Tesla claims it met all the targets in 2023, proxy advisor Glass Lewis labeled it excessive with uncertain benefits. Excessive. Come on, guys. Excessive. It was excessive when we made our profits. I appreciate it, Elon Musk, right? We made a good amount of money. I don't know about what she made. I don't know how much a judge makes, but we made good on our money. At least that's from my perspective. 1,110%. That's how much I got. I got a good increase on my capital. Thank you, Elon. So I might have remind those in the back. I just kind of wanted you to show. It's unreasonable for investors to get paid too that much. Right. I hope she don't come from my bag. Right. In five years, I hope she doesn't come from my bag. Let's not even go to the max. Let's not even go to the max at 13,000. Let's just go to the five year. Right. I hope she doesn't come for how much money I've made. But who knows in this society? Let's continue. Benefits and additional risk ahead of June 13th annual meeting. Tesla is prom uh, promoting the pay plan by offering investors a tour of the Texas Gigafactory with Musk and emphasizing the plan's importance to Tesla's future success. Tom, thoughts on the story? Okay. <clears throat> the board here is running for cover and they are turning turtle. Here's what I mean by that. The reason this plan exists, how did this plan, this wasn't an idea he came up with. This was voted on by the board and they all agreed this would be the pay plan. And by the way, for all those people saying must receive 55 billion, I saw that one on CNN. And then also, I agreed as an investor, I want to throw my hat in the ring. I agreed as a retail investor. Now, I'm not as big as Elon and I'm not as big as institutional money, but I'm big in my own way. And he's not receiving 55 billion. This is a 10 year grant of stocks, some stock every year. Ricky, you remember PHP? Of course. You 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 kill it, and there'd be a program out there. Yep. You could get some equity yep. next year, different program. What they did here, they made a 10-year program. 10-year program from here, and CalPERS voted in favor of it. But along the way, along the way, the economy burps a little bit. Now people are saying, well, maybe $55 billion is excessive. Why was it $55 billion? Because the stock went up from 106 at the beginning of 03, I believe, to Rob, check me on this. Now, he's just a little bit inaccurate with that, but no problem. The stock went up. We did good. I showed you guys the chart. The stock went up 1,100%. So we've done pretty good for ourselves. So much respects to most of the investors, as you see. You can see it right there on the actual screen. And that's a five-year metrics right there. So... But people want to mostly focus on year to date. So this is where they get all confused. And then they're like, oh, Elon, this stock's down year to date. But that's not important when it comes down to five years. Right. There is undercurrent here. But the board voted on a compensation plan. The metrics were met. And now everybody is running from the back saying, well, I don't want to be seen as voting for it. These are board members now want not want to be seen voting for something that they put on paper and put in front of them. This wasn't invented at the end of the year. Check this out. This was the plan at the beginning. So, so watch this. So this is what makes it so weird on how this was negotiated. When he negotiated this, it was February of 2018. When he negotiated in February 2018, guess what they did? The Tesla stock shareholders sent a letter out saying, we just negotiated Musk's comp compensation for the next six years, okay? Mm. And when they negotiated compensation for the next six years, they said, we have gotten Elon Musk to agree to take zero salary for the next six years, zero pay for the next six years. You guys can even take zero pay for the next 30 days let alone take zero pay for six years, not one year, not two years. You would be ready to go to the UN. You'd be ready to go to the Supreme Court. You'd be ready to go to the tribunals. You'd be ready to go out there with your pitchforks and be extremely mad, let alone not be paid for 30 days. So six years 
and you normies can't even take not being paid for 30 days. Come on, guys, make that make sense. Shoot, employers actually fire you guys and still pay you like 90 days afterwards. Then the board had to come back and say California forces us that we have to pay minimum wage. You know, Elon Musk has been, been getting paid minimum wage the last six years. $37,000 is what he's been getting paid, and he's never taken the money. Now, check this out. At the time when he agreed, this is what the terms were. Uh, Tesla was worth around $50, $55 billion. In order for him to get his full compensation package, he had to take Tesla from $55 billion to, in six years to $650 billion wow. valuation. Let me say it one more time. His package, folks, would you take this offer? Hey, zero salary for the next six years. Help us take the com valuation of a company of a billion dollars in the next you know, six years to $11 billion for us to pay you anything. And if you don't take us to $11 billion, you get paid nothing. Wow. That's what he negotiated for. All or none, apparently, $37,000 as a salary at the time when he negotiated this contract. You know what's the craziest thing when he negotiated? And I'm sure the answer is no. Let me answer that for him, PD. The answer is no. The answer is you would never accept such crazy mess and nonsense. You would think that it's undemocratic and unconstitutional. But nevertheless, this is what Elon accepted. So therefore, that's what he has to deal with. But we have to deal with Delaware judges. She did it. At the time, guess what was the shortest stock? The stock being shorted the most in all of NASDAQ 100. Tesla. Tesla. You know what percentage of the stock was shorted? 22.6% mm. at a time when the average shorted stock on NASDAQ 100 was 3.5%. So think about this. 3.5%, 22.6%. Nobody believes in what's going to happen. Everybody's saying this is a shit show. This guy's a P.D. Barnum type of guy. Makes a bunch of fancy yeah. predictions that none of them are going to become a reality. And then it becomes a reality. Yeah. Then they go to shareholders. They ask him, hey, guys, we have to pay this man $55, $56 billion. What do you guys think, shareholders? Guess what percent of shareholders said we should pay him? What percentage of Tesla shareholders do you think agreed that they should pay Elon Musk? Take a wild guess. I want. You well, in 2018, we agreed 73%. So Pat D was just kind of lost on that perspective, but it's completely fine. He covers a lot of news throughout the day. But net net, we agreed of it back then. 73% of us agreed that he should be paid. We agreed and approved the package back in 2018. So with that being said, that's where we're at now. 3% said this guy deserves the money, but... In the beginning, when it was made. Yeah, but... No, no. 73% when it happened. Uh, what do you mean not when it's made? Now. Right. When it's made. He's kind of lost in the barbecue sauce. So sorry, man. Well, I would have gave you the buzzer if I had my sound effects, P. At the beginning that we should pay this because this guy's never going to hit 11 times valuation. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Now it's 73%. 27% 20, is like, oh, shit, he actually hit it. Now we got to pay this guy, right? There's no way we're going to be able to do this. And watch this. Do you know the person? Rob, can you pull up the the judge in Delaware preventing? Uh, so he get kind of political because it's the Democrats, all right? So I'm not coming after the Democrats or anybody. But what I am saying is definitely <laughs> it's a lot of capping going on. As you guys can see, in 2018, Tesla stockholders overwhelmingly approved the CEO Performance Award that incentivized Elon Musk to deliver transformative and unprecedented growth, okay? In order to receive any compensation whatsoever for the CEO or his work as a CEO, Elon needed to meet ultra ambitious financial and operational targets over a 10 year period, 10 year, a decade guys. And Elon met these targets, which created tremendous value for stockholders. I greatly appreciate it. This is what I was telling you. Since award was granted in 2018, we have 1,100 return. And then turned around profitability from a two billion loss to a fifteen billion profit. So we used to lose money, right? And now we make money. We make a profit. We had a loss before, hence the word loss, guys. Let me put that on the jumbo screen for some of y'all slow guys at the background to fifteen billion in profit. 7x number of vehicles produced. So these are tangible met met metrics, not just market share and market cap and none of that. These are measurable markers, right? 2.2 billion in loss to 15 billion in profit. Seven number of vehicles, uh, 7x the number of vehicles from 250K in 2018 to 1.8 mil in tens of millions of, you know, metric tons of CO2. All right. So for some of you greenies in the background, all right? The Performance Award did what it was designed to do. In 2018, Award did what the independent directors of our board designed it to do, incentivize Elon to deliver the type of extraordinary results that most thought were impossible. The premise of the 2018 CEO Performance Award was simple. 
Board approves plan after lengthy design process. Elon hits ambitious targets, creating amazing value for shareholders. And then Elon receives stock options. Receive stock options. Receive stock options, okay? Receive stock options. And then here we go. Elon fails to achieve the ambitious goal. And Elon receives zero compensation. Zero compensation. That's crazy. Critically, the CEO Performance Award was designed not only to incentivize Elon to remain at the helm of Tesla, but also to continue to strive for excellent value creation well into the future. To ensure Elon's incentives continue to align with the stockholder interests, the package requires him to hold any shares awarded through the stock options for five years after he exercises these options. So even after he exercises these options, he still has to maintain them for five years. And net, net, I agree with him. And we believe in stockholder democracy. Your rights need to be protected. This Delaware decision has made that change, but that's okay. We're going to weather the storm because that's what we do. We got a lot of people like oh, a mama Tesla, Tesla mama. She out here killing it. I don't know, but she's out here being active in the battlefield. <laughs> she's out here not playing any games and holding anything back. She's organizing people, getting them together to go back and get this changed, to make things right. And I agree 100%. This is something that we need to do. I know you guys that are watching might not even be invested in the actual company, and that's one thing. But I would still say that it's been a fantastic ride all the way. I support you, Elon, as I always done. You innovated and in taken the company to new heights. We continue to support you. I'm going to continue to back you up with not only these videos, but videos about everything and everybody who's hating on Tesla. I see you guys engaged in the comment section. I will come down there and open up a can of whoop at on you. So slow your roll and watch your mouth because I will come into the comments and lay down the smackdown. But if we can keep it cordial, if we can keep it professional, then we got something going. A lot of people are emotional, so it's OK. Control your emotions and use your logic. Logic over emotion, right? Results over potent. Every word that I spoke been quoting. <laughs> but Elon's going to get his pay package. I'm going to stink with positivity. As you guys can see, we have massive amounts of inventions. We're continuing to innovate. Look at that. The robo taxi is coming. Look at it. Y'all not ready for that. That's the design. Maybe that's mocked. I don't know where we going. We out here doing donuts in the snow. We got. Uh, uh, we got the robots on the line doing real factory work. That robot looked insane. Like, let's just say two years ago, a year ago. Yeah, a year ago. It looked insane. Cyber truck is the best truck in the United States of America. I don't care how it looks. I'm talking performance wise. Bulletproof on the sides to a certain caliber. Energy department going bonkers, going crazy. Energy products, virtual power plants across the world, manufacturing like nobody has seen ever before. Our IP is ridiculous when it comes down to manufacturing. I'm going to continue to expose all the greatness that comes from Elon and Tesla. Shout out to the staff. Thank you for doing a great job. I support you. Elon, you're going to get paid. I already voted. And you know I voted for and with the board. Let's get it. I see you guys on the next installment. And hey, as the stock rise, so shall the company. Shout outs to Elon. Much love, everybody. Everybody who loves to hate Tesla, you're losing. We're winning. We